Disclaimer This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Various problems arises during and after climacteric age, such as burning, hot flushes, hot perspiration, sadness and melancholy, etc. Have never been well since that time, says patient, referring to climacteric ailments. In this video, we are going to learn about, one of the most wonderful remedy, useful in climacteric ailments, that is, lachesis. We are visual designers. A team of subject matter experts, and animation professionals. We are bringing a series, visually depicting homeopathic materia medica. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, thanks so much for stopping by. Please subscribe to our channel to continue getting updates from us. About this remedy, we will discuss, its common name, family and sphere of action, constitution and, ailments from, particulars symptoms part 1, mental symptoms part 1, mental symptoms part 2, particular symptoms part 2, modalities, and its relations. We have divided this video into two parts. So, without wasting any more time, let's learn about this great remedy. Let's begin with its, common name, family and sphere of action. The common name of, Lachesis is, Surukuku snake poison or Bushmaster. As the name suggests, this medicine is prepared by the poison of Surukuku snake, found in South America. It belongs to the, animal kingdom under Ophidia group. There is an interesting story, about the proving of Lachesis, by the great Dr. Constantine Herring, who is aptly called the, father of homeopathy in America. Dr. Herring went up a Amazon, for some project of German government. Except his wife, all those about him, were natives. Who told him so much about the dreaded Surukuku snake, that he offered a good reward, for a live specimen. At last, one was brought in a box. And those who brought it, immediately fled. Herring pressed the snake's venom out of the poison bag, upon sugar of milk. He consumed this, and the effect was, to throw him into a fever, with tossing delirium, and mania, much to his wife's dismay. Towards morning he slept. And on waking, his mind was clear. Herring's first question was. What did I do and say? His wife remembered vividly enough. The symptoms were written down, and, this was the first installment, of the proving of Lachesis. Lachesis acts on, almost every organ. However, its action predominates on nervous system, cardiovascular system, skin and mucous membrane, respiratory organs, urinary organs and female genital organs. Moving forward, we shall discuss, about its, constitution, and ailments from. Lachesis is suited to, thin, and emaciated subjects, during, and after climacteric age, who have been changed mentally, and physically by illness. It is also suited to person having disposition to, low spurt, and indolence, with blue, and purple look. The temperament is melancholic and sad. They are, hot patients. Myosum, Sora is in the background. And hemorrhagic diathesis. The ailments are from long-lasting grief, bad effects of poison, disappointed love, sorrow, fright, jealous, and vexation. We are about to start particulars, and then we will discuss Lachesis personality. Regarding head, there are following symptoms. Pain through head on awaking. Left-sided headache, tendency to go to right. Pressure and burning on vertex. Pain at root of nose. With headache, flickerings, dim vision, very pale face. Waves of pain, worse after moving. Headache relieved by onset of a discharge, menses or nasal catarrh. Now, let us discuss, the eye symptoms. Defective vision after diphtheria, extrinsic muscles too weak to maintain focus. Sensation as if eyes were drawn together by cords which were tied in a knot at root of nose. 
In case of ears, there is tearing pain, from zygoma, into ear. Also with sore throat. Ear wax hard, and dry. Moving forward to, nasal symptoms. There is bleeding, nostrils sensitive. Hey asthma, paroxysms of sneezing. Coryza, preceded by headache. We will shortly commence with the mental symptoms and personality of Alakis's patient. Please stay tuned, as we have described it with scenarios and story. We hope you would like it. But, let's first quickly complete some particular symptoms. One of the most important symptom of this remedy is about the tongue. Trembling tongue, difficult to protrude. Tongue swollen, burns, red, dry and cracked at tip, catches on teeth. Aphthous, and denuded spots with burning and rawness. Gums swollen, spongy, bleed. Teeth ache, pain extends to ears. Pain in facial bones. Let's now look at the face symptoms. Face is pale, purple, mottled, puffed, looks swollen, bloated, jaundiced, and chlorotic. Try facial neuralgia, left side, heat running up into head. Tearing pain in jaw bones. Lachesis, is especially suited to throat complaints. Soreness, dryness and constriction in throat, worse left side. Quinsy, septic parotiditis. Throat dry, intensely swollen, externally and internally. Diphtheria, membrane dusky, blackish, liquid is more painful than solid. Chronic sore throat, with much hawking, mucus sticks, and cannot be forced up or down. It seems as a large lump has settled over there. Very painful, worse slightest pressure, touch is even more annoying. In diphtheria, etc., the trouble began on left side. Tonsils purplish. Purple, livid color of throat. Feeling as if something was swollen which must be swallowed, worse, swallowing saliva or liquids. Pain into ear. Collar and neck band must be very loose. We are about to start, the mentals of this remedy. Lachesis person, is usually vivacious, jolly, lively, and in a state of ecstasy, and exaltation. She tends to be hungry for experiences. From adolescence onwards, the Lachesis individual have a passionate appetite for life, for excitement and for stimulation. If I could sell all this discharge, I would have been a billionaire. She usually has a jesting, mocking nature, and a desire for amusement. These individuals are very passionate and gets very involved, deriving a pleasure from the situation. Loquacity is marked in Lachesis patient. She changes subject quickly. Being highly intuitive type, these individuals are often attracted to philosophical ideas, that is, there is religious affections. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We would love to hear from you. Please share your feedback in the comments section of this video. Let us know which remedy would you like us to develop next. We will continue the mental symptoms of Lachesis in part 2, and will further complete the drug picture. If you have found value in this innovative presentation to Materia Medica, please don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.